We're going to talk about some fire sprinkler system things today. Now, a lot of us get us get our information for um, technology from movies. So we all see in the movies that um, it's always in the high school gym during the dance. Not always, but a lot of times, right? And uh, the smoke goes up to the ceiling and all the sprinkler heads go off. And the kids just keep dancing under the gentle spray of water. And there's, there's several myths about that that I always tell people about because that's what we see in the movies. And uh, number one is that smoke doesn't set us fire sprinkler heads off. The temperature does. And there's a little liquid in there that makes it red. And there's a little air bubble in there. And if that air bubble expands, we all remember from our science classes in high school, Air can expand, but liquid doesn't expand as much, and it doesn't um, easily expand. So that air bubble will eventually break that glass, and that's how they work. And when they go off, they usually go off one at a time. As one gets hot, uh, if it, the fire is really raging, it might set off another one or another one, but they don't go off all at one time. So if the, if the principal in the gym would pull the uh, pull station, not all the sprinkler heads are going to go off because it takes temperature. The other thing that I, you see is that the kids will just keep dancing under the gentle spray of water. It is not a gen gentle spray of water. It's a, a lot of water. You, it's a, astounding to see how much water they put out. Unless you've seen it, it's hard to describe. We are concerned about saving people, and sprinkler heads are one of the most effective ways to protect buildings and save people that there is, and that's why they're so common and required in a lot of buildings. And we're starting to see them required more and more and just seem to be even down to single-family houses.